The next component in finding errors is subject to verb agreement. Now the cornerstone rule for subject to verb agreement is singular subject, singular verb, plural subject, plural verb, right? The bird sings, the birds sing. The employee works, the employees work. Now if you look at this, for nouns you add an S to make it plural, right? One book, two books, one pen, two pens. It's just the opposite for the verbs, right? You add an S to make it singular. The dog bites, the dogs bite, right? So let's apply this learning and learn to identify errors pertaining to subject verb agreement through some example sentences. Now let's look at our first example here. Some genuine issues exist with the newly adopted system and needs to be examined seriously. Again, sentence divided into four parts. Let's understand what our subject is here. Some genuine issues exist with the newly adopted system. Okay, so with the newly adopted system is my propositional phrase, additional information. Some genuine issues exist. So I know what exists. That's my subject, the issues. What sort of issues? Genuine issues. Genuine is my objective describing the issues. Okay, so far we're good. And needs to be examined seriously. Now here we're talking about more than one issue, right? Which means issues is a plural subject. So for a plural subject, I know that my verb does not have an S because the verb that has an S is a singular subject. So all I need to do is, which is my verb here? The action word needs but it is not in the right form so I go ahead and make that change there you go so the error is in part 3 I change needs to need some genuine issues exist with the newly adopted system and need to be examined seriously let's look at one more example to understand subject verb agreement our second example Rithik, along with his family, are visiting the Prince of Wales Museum day after tomorrow. Okay, great. Again, the sentence is divided into four parts. Let's look at who our subject is. Who is visiting the Prince of Wales Museum? Rithik. Right, so Rithik is our subject here. And do you see this whole sentence which starts with along with his family? Now, that's a prepositional phrase. Along is the preposition, right? So, one, one other rule of subject verb agreement is do not be confused by prepositional phrases that come in between the subject and the verb. The verb is still are visiting. That's your verb right there. Correct? So what changes do I need to make? I need to ensure because Rithik is a singular subject, I need to make sure my verb is in line with the singular subject. So all I do is change uh, are visiting because we're not talking about his family is not the subject Rithik is still the subject so you go ahead and make that change the error is in part 2 you change are to is okay so Rithik along with his family is visiting the Prince of Wales Museum day after tomorrow let's look at our third example 20 kilometers are not a great distance in these days of fast moving vehicles the highlighted phrase is are not a great distance so we need to see if this highlighted phrase is correct or incorrect and if it's incorrect we are going to replace it with one of these options. Option A is not a great distance. Option B are not too great a distance. Option C aren't providing a great distance. Okay so now what is my subject here? Of course my subject here is 20 kilometers. Now another rule for subject verb agreement is units of measurement with respect to uh, distance or anything with respect to time, quantity, money always take up a singular subject. For example, four years is a long time to wait for a reply. 5,000 rupees is a lot of money. Right? So here in this context, because we are familiar or you are now familiar with the subject verb agreement rule, which says units of measurement with respect to distance. Uh, time, money, quantity all take up a singular verb. We will quickly arrive at the option because uh, only option A has a singular verb, is, right? B and C have R, R. So the answer is A. Let's go ahead and make that change. 20 kilometer is not a great distance uh, these days of fast moving vehicles. 
and the answer is option A. So having gone through these example sentences, I'm sure uh, you first of all learn to identify the subject in a sentence, right? Usually uh, it answers the question who or what. And then you see if it's a singular subject or a plural subject and then you pick the corresponding verb which is either singular or plural based on the context. So that's all we have for subject verb agreement. Let's move to our next component in finding errors.